Today we're making an icosahedron, which is a solid figure with 20 plain faces. So we're making a ball. So if you're like me and you have a plain face, you put 20 of us together, I guess you have an icosahedron. But today we're going to make them out of buckyballs. And we start with a string of buckyballs. And we're going to cut off nine of them at a time. So now we have a string of nine. Just make them into a circle. And this is good if you have big fingers like me. Just kind of squeeze them together and twist the balls around until it forms a triangle. You can put the ball in the middle, but it's, for some reason the magnetism doesn't work as well. So the hole in the middle makes it a lot easier. So we want 20 of these triangles with uh, four balls on each side, uh, nine balls in total. So I've made uh, 15 of those for uh, quickness. And um, we're going to put those 15 together, and then I've made another one over here that's uh, so we can move on quickly. So we're going to take one of these and stick it together with one of these. And what you want to do is make sure they're attracted appropriately. So if they come together, see there, there's some repulsion there when you stick them together. So flip one of them and then they'll jump together. So we're going to put another one on, hold them, and if, there's, if they're not going together, flip one of them, roll it on there. So now we have a uh, five of the triangles uh, stuck together in that format. If you lift it up, they should just fall together, sort of like a dish. So you have five triangles stuck together in a little dish. So stick that over uh, like that. And now we're going to connect uh, other triangles to each of those five sides. Same thing applies. You want to make sure they, they attract appropriately. That's wrong. So if you accidentally get them messed up, you have to pull them apart carefully. So we do this one. Okay, so now we have a star-shaped figure that's kind of got a bubble in the middle. Now we're going to attach uh, five more triangles to each of the uh, star uh, points. So again, be careful of polarity. Now we have a figure that looks like a snowflake. So these these two triangles on the edges of the little bubble are flat to the ground all the way around. So now if we pick that up, they should just fly together. 
So now we have this kind of like a bowl that's got tin sides but no top. So we'll put that aside for a minute. So now I've made another um, set of five triangles stuck together like the first one. So lift that up. Well, actually, probably better not to stick them together because we have to figure out which way the polarity is on this. So we want to stick one of the sides of this onto that and they kind of not going together properly. So flip it around and just let it fall into place and there you have it. So it's a 20 sided icosahedron made out of uh, buckyballs with uh, four, four balls on each side of the triangle. So you can make them with um, five balls each side, six balls each side. These uh, bigger triangles pr become progressively harder to make because they, they don't want to go together, but you, you can do it, especially if you have big hands like mine. So, hope you enjoyed it.